15 Mistakes That Shorten the Life of Your Phone Nowadays, one can hardly imagine life without a cell phone, and it happens quite often that our gadgets start to act up just half a year after we bought them. It is frustrating, but in most cases, we ourselves are to blame. Let's face it, we don't always handle our devices properly. When was the last time you read the manual? How to charge the battery correctly? What should you know about protective cases? Why do these phone batteries decrease so quickly? We have 15 amazing tips that will make your smartphone live a longer life. 15. Recharge your battery more often. Do you know that you shouldn't charge your cell phone battery until the energy drops to zero? Well, that's not true, at least today. Modern lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries have no memory effect, so you can recharge them without waiting. The reason for this is that many manufacturers measure a battery's life by the number of its full discharge cycles, and it's usually around 400 to 600 cycles. So, to increase your gadget's battery life, you should recharge it more often. The best option is to do it each time the battery power indicator drops to 10 to 20 percent. This will increase the number of discharge cycles up to 1,000 to 1,100 cycles. 14. Don't keep the battery charging all the time. Do you know that batteries suffer if you leave the charger plugged after the battery is fully charged? We got you again! It's not true either. An inbuilt controller stops the battery from taking more current than necessary, so there is absolutely no risk of overcharging the battery and destroying it. However, this doesn't mean that you can constantly keep your phone charging. You need to let the battery work on its own, too. That's why you should try to keep the charge between 40 and 80 percent to extend the life of your battery. Number 13. Don't buy cheap chargers. Here's why it is unsafe to buy cheap batteries. They can be of very low quality and might not have any inbuilt controllers. There have been situations when a person was using a non-native charger and it caused a fire in the house. And another terrible thing that can happen if you use non-native chargers and cables is getting an electric shock. Look, we're not trying to promote anything. We just care about your safety. Number 12. Be careful with ultra-fast chargers. Yes, sometimes it's necessary to charge your phone very quickly, but we recommend you to avoid using chargers that claim to charge your battery full in less than an hour. At least, check if the manufacturer of your phone approves using the charger you want to buy. Number 11. Remove your protective case. If your smartphone has a bulky protective case, it might cause the device and its battery to overheat during a lengthy recharging session. You see, there are so many different cases in the market that phone manufacturers can't take all the precautions. So, if you are using an uncertified protective case, you should always remove it when you need to charge the battery. Number 10. Drain your battery from time to time. It is recommended to discharge your phone's battery every three months to 0% and then immediately charge it to 100% to get rid of the extremes of full charge slash discharge. Number 9. Avoid high temperatures. A high temperature is the worst thing you can imagine for lithium-ion batteries. They totally can't stand overheating. That's why you should never expose them to direct sunlight or put them near heat sources. Modern cell phones have very high-quality screens, but even they can't stand direct sunshine. If you expose the screen to it, the display color might fade, and if you have ever dropped your cell phone, you might know how much it costs to have a screen replaced. Sometimes it's easier to buy a new phone. Number 8. Avoid cold temperatures You might ask, no heat, no cold, when am I supposed to use my cell phone? Well, we're not saying that you absolutely can't use your phone in cold weather. You can. It's just that your battery will probably not live as long as it could. So, if possible, carry the phone in an inner pocket of your coat or an outer pocket, but encased in a protective covering. Low temperatures are harmful to the battery because it needs more power to keep itself warm enough to function. That's why you may have noticed that batteries get drained much faster in cold weather. Number 7. Avoid bright wallpaper and adjust screen brightness. When checking the time, text messages, or missed calls, you always look at the main display of your phone. A bright and colorful wallpaper on your phone's main screen can really eat up the battery. Hence, it's better to use black and white wallpaper. This will help conserve your smartphone battery. Also, try to lower the brightness of your screen at least by 30 to 40 percent. 
This amount of light is usually more than enough to see all the information on the display. Moreover, it will help to extend the life of your battery dramatically. When outside, don't use the max brightness level either. It's better to use the auto brightness function to help you see the phone screen even in the sun. Plus, it will turn off after 15 minutes. Number 6. Watch out for voltage fluctuations. At the approach of a thunderstorm, never charge your phone. Actually, the same goes for all the electrical appliances you have. It's not a myth. During a thunderstorm, electric appliances can experience the full wrath of nature. Network filters are meant to protect your devices from overvoltage, but they would hardly withstand lightning. Its power can reach thousands of gigavolts. Number 5. Clean the ports and wipe the display. Because most of the modern cell phones have touchscreens, we touch them all the time. That's why they get pretty dirty over time. To wipe the screen, use lint-free wipers and whatever you do, never use window cleaning liquids. They contain ammonia, which can damage the screen irrevocably. Moreover, if you carry your phone in the main compartment of your handbag, its ports can become clogged with dust and small debris which might cause problems with the connection. This is especially dangerous for the 3.5 mini jack. The thing is, the port itself is pretty long, so if some piece of dust gets inside and you don't know about it, next time you will try to plug in your headphones, you will only make the piece get even further in. To remove the debris, turn off the phone and carefully clean all the ports with the toothpick. Don't forget to put a piece of soft lint-free cloth on its end. To avoid such situations, choose a compartment in your handbag exclusively for keeping the smartphone in it. Number 4. Keep the phone far from water This might sound like an obvious thing, but still, many phones die in water. If you drop your cell phone into a pool or a sink, the first thing you should do after you get it out is to turn it off and remove the battery, if it's possible, of course. Remove all the SIM cards and the memory cards that you have. Put the contents in a bowl of rice and hope. The rice will absorb the water, and if you are lucky, your phone will survive. You should also avoid taking your phone to places with high humidity, such as saunas and steam rooms, even if your phone is water resistant. Number 3. Handle your phone carefully Don't put your cell phone on the dashboard when driving. Constant moving and bumping can cause a lot of damage. It doesn't happen quickly, but all the little things add up over time. Also, try not always to carry your phone in your hands when the weather is hot. Due to the high temperature, the smartphone heats up as well. Also, the warmth of your hands brings an even greater chance of the phone battery overheating and, as a result, running low. Number 2. Avoid software updates Big companies release major software updates around once a year. We don't recommend updating your phone two years after this model was released. No, we are not wearing any tinfoil hats right now. Trust us, the performance will become worse. And it's not because the manufacturer is so greedy and wants to make you buy the new model. It's just the technologies are constantly developing, and your hardware stays the same. They need to update the software to enhance the functionality, which your phone might simply not support. That's why at least read user reviews before you hit the update button. The problem with such updates is that it's either very hard or impossible to go back to the previous version of the software. Unless you are a Mr. Robot Hacker kind of person, think carefully before updating. Number 1. Use Cloud Storage Even if you have a lot of free space on your hard drive, it's better to use cloud storage anyway. This way, your phone won't be clogged with so much data that it will perform much better. And of course, if something happens to your phone, the data won't be lost. Do you know any other tips that we didn't mention in the video? If you do, don't hesitate to share them in the comments section below. Like this video and send it to your friends. And of course, click the subscribe button to join us on the bright side of life.